Hello, everyone. What a great honor it is here today to not only share what the great work we do at the Andy Warhol Museum with you, but also to talk about our native son, Andy Warhol, who, as we all know, changed the face not only of American culture, but of world culture through really changing visual language and taking the power of art and expanding that into society to change the way we think, to change the way we deal with others, and to become, in many ways, super heroic. It's interesting that Warhol starts off painting superheroes in 1961 with his early paintings of Superman, this from a later series named Myths. Today at the Warhol Museum, we're celebrating the art of Alex Ross, who looked to Warhol for his own inspiration, becoming one of the greatest comic book illustrators known to mankind. And I invite all of you to come to the museum to share in that journey. Looking at Vesuvius, a great painting from 1985, Warhol looks at the explosive power of nature. We're doing that in our own way at the Warhol Museum, looking at the explosive power of Pittsburgh's industry with a major exhibition we're opening at the museum next summer called Factory Direct Pittsburgh, in which we're bringing 15 artists from all over the world here to Pittsburgh where they have to conduct a residency in a local factory and make new work based on their experience. To think, 25 years ago, Warhol was worried about the Cold War. That is what global relations was all about back in those days. Today, we're looking at global expansion through art. I'm happy to announce the Warhol Museum is taking a huge show, a retrospective to Asia, with the great support of BNY Mellon, going to Singapore, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Beijing, and Tokyo over the course of the next three years. Stay tuned for that. We're also looking at the power of art to change society. You look at this gun from 1981. We're looking at ways that violence can be eroded through the use of art. We're starting an artist-in-residency program in Pittsburgh's Homewood neighborhood to put positive energy into the neighborhood and hope that violence will leave because of that. Stay tuned for that project as well. We're looking at how religion really is one of the most powerful agents in society through a show called The Word of God that's been going on all year. Right now, we have an artist from New Zealand named Max Gimlet, who's looking at Buddhism. Starting in December, we'll look at Jeffrey Valance, an artist from Los Angeles who deals with Christianity, because religion was one of Warhol's most powerful forces. He went to church every day of his life. We're also looking at the power of women, something that's very important to me as a feminist art historian. We have a great show up at the museum right now called the Pittsburgh Biennial, promoting the work of 21 women artists, all who either lived and worked in Pittsburgh or who currently live and work in Pittsburgh. And of course, Queen Elizabeth, who's more powerful than that, this beautiful image that you see before you. We're also very cognizant to the fact of the power of money and what it takes to support a museum like ours. And I want to thank personally all of our board members that are here in the audience today, <laughs> all of the corporate sponsors who let us do what we do, and also all the fantastic foundations in Pittsburgh that keep us and our sister organizations within Carnegie Museums of Pittsburgh alive. And I would also ask all of you to think how you can help, do, um, help us do the work that we do. If you think about democracy and the idea of art, we love to give voice to people that don't have it. We work with children with autism. We work with patients with Alzheimer's. We say we need you. We need you to come and be a part of this equation. We also look at technology, and we've seen a lot of cell phones today. I'm happy to report we just found out yesterday the Warhol Museum is number seven in the world in terms of Twitter followers in museums, with over 350,000. Thank you. And I'm happy to say that we're even bigger than um, the Getty in Los Angeles, so that's really good news. We're also looking at how we can harness energy. We are working with a presenter you will see later today to realize um, that we can build sculptures that generate energy and maybe take ourselves off the grid. We're really excited about that. Ultimately, we know that the power of energy is in our hands, and now it's just a matter for us to plug it in. So I welcome you all to the museum, and I hope to see you all there very soon. Take care. <laughs>